The concept of peace, ladies and gentlemen, in my mind, is something of a rather peculiar and perhaps not a very straightforward idea at first sight. Because when you think about it in many ways, because I have a I have a long since had a friend who lives down south who is a Buddhist and very, very happily married for the last two and a half years now. And she's very, 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 very satisfied and very, very at ease with her wife. And they are living the dream life. They own their own small business. They have their own little place. Everything seems to be going right. And I like to imagine she's found peace in herself because she worked hard and she got exactly what she wanted. Or so far, so good. And part of me also likes to imagine, ladies and gentlemen, or maybe imagine, rather, likes to idealise the, the, the aspect of finding peace. Finding that place in your mind where, the, where fear of things we would normally be scared to emit and the things that rummage inside our brains, these things disappear, melt, and they are never going to form and solidify once again. You're not any less of a person for feeling scared or feeling nervous or apprehensive about maybe not very pleasant things in the world, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, it's very good that we acknowledge them. And again, whether, whether or not we think about certain things like this or what we have to say about these sort of things is one thing. And sometimes it's quite another but I would like to imagine, ladies and gentlemen, that in our day and age, there is unrest, there is unruly behaviour. There are things that always drive into the question of whether or not people can find peace, let alone whether or not people can afford to keep the lights on in their own homes, whether or not strikes or this feeling of disunity continues, not just into the beginning of 2023, but maybe 2033. For there always will be disunity and a sense of trying to pip one person against the other. These things aren't necessarily going to change, ladies and gentlemen. But what can change is the way we learn to handle situations like these in the future. They often do say you have to, uh, history shows us the future. And in that case, ladies and gentlemen, and you may have heard me say this phrase once before, but in my opinion, the first and biggest step we need to overcome is breaking the boundaries in which we can be at ease with one another. You want to know how we do this, ladies and gentlemen? It's, it seems such a stupid idea, but it's also one of the best ones. Because they do say that the simplest solutions are the most sound. So, here it is. We should be learning how to work together not fight each other. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be my thought for the day. Thank you.